Hey guys! So I'm kind of testing out different cameras just to see kind of what I like, what I don't like. This is actually the webcam off of my laptop, so that's kind of old. So, uh, I can already tell it's very pixelated, so probably not going to continue using this one. Well, originally today's video was kind of going to be an experiment type. So I had bought Red Heart yarn, which I hate, and I was going to try and make it soft. Um, kind of made a whole ball of mess with the skein. Uh, I'm going to have to get something so that it doesn't unwind itself in the dryer. Um, so yeah, probably going to do that next week, or try to do that next week. So for today, um, I'm switching it up a bit. And I'm going to talk about Ravelry. Hopefully you know about Ravelry, Ravelry or you've heard about Ravelry. If you haven't, no big deal. This video is kind of to inform you or let you know some of the cool things you can do with it. So first and foremost, it, it works very similar to like Facebook, um, MySpace if anyone still uses that where you create an account and you have this personification about knitting, crocheting, all your projects. What I like about it is the library feature. You can uh, document every single pattern that you own as well as all patterns that you maybe want to have or want to purchase so you can like them. You just like hit the heart button and it saves it as a favorite. You can also buy patterns there. You can get tons and tons of free ones, which is my favorite part. I'll type in cow or beret in the free section, just hit enter and list all of them. You can, you can order it or organize it by the most downloads, the most like, the most projects. Uh, you can organize it by the yarn type or kind of the features that are involved, so your tags. And I think that's absolutely awesome to be able to type in a keyword and see everything that's associated with it that maybe you want to make. This is really nice when you want to make something Harry Potter related. Just type, type Harry Potter and you can see all these patterns that are either directly based off of something for the movie or themed Harry Potter or have Harry Potter kind of like an image of any of the characters knitted into the fabric, whatever. Really cool. You can even get obscure things. Um, like if you wanted to look up if anyone had created any types of Pokemon, you can. So that's pretty sweet. You can save it, again, it'll all go into your library, or you could have it in your favorites. There's two different spots. You can do whatever you want with them. I personally set mine up for the library is everything I own, and then favor favorites is everything that I want to own in the future, or projects that I really like that maybe I'll make it and just kind of uh, imitate what they've done. You know, just, or if someone has a really good description of how they altered a pattern, I'll favorite that. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that I use Ravelry for uh, is, so I'll look at a pattern and I won't have the yarn that it asks for or the yarn that it suggests for. So instead, <laughs> I'm so lazy, so instead of doing the math and figuring it out myself, I will just look at the suggested yarns. So I will see what everybody else has done or made and look at their yarn and then look at their pattern and see if they had to alter it or if it came out a little wonky, stuff like that. And then even if, if all the yarns that I have isn't even suggested, I compare my yarn to all of the yarns that they've done. So if I know two yarns are, are very similar and someone used the first one but I only have the second one, why not, why not go for it? So, I, and that saves so much time. You know, I have a habit of just buying yarn. I need to stop 
but I'll just buy it for the color, for the way that it feels, even the packaging. I don't, why? I don't know. I'm gonna be ripping that I'm gonna be ripping that piece of paper off anyway. But oh, I know it's a problem. It's not probably not gonna go away anytime soon. But that's one of such an awesome feature of Ravelry. So when you post a project, definitely post the yarn that you used and how much you used it. And that, I guess that's a side note. When I'm knitting up a sweater. You know, it'll say six skeins, and I'm kind of thinking, do I really need six skeins? Can I get away with five? Oop, um, something just happened. But do I really need six skeins, or can I get away with five? And so I look at other people's patterns um, or their projects, and I can see. Well, this person, she looks relatively the same size as me. She only used five. Um, this person looks like me or she ended up using seven, that kind of thing. So that's super helpful. Uh, yeah, so um, definitely check Ravelry out. There's a ton more than just that to offer. Those are just some of the really key things that I think of. And if you want to, you can friend me. Uh, my name is Lulu is Crazy on Ravelry. Just search for the name. And yeah, so happy crafting. Bye.